I was scrolling through my subscribers list and I came across a video that Town Biz just recently put up on his YouTube channel and shout out to him by the way I'll actually put the link to the video that he did down in the description box and it was talking about how Aisha Curry has defended her husband Steph Curry after an incident at a basketball game after the game more so. So there was this video that went viral where this young fan um, was trying to, I guess, reach out and touch Steph Curry's hands like a lot of people do when they try to reach out and touch their favorite fan and get their acknowledgement. But Steph Curry um, pretty much moved fast past the fan in order to get into the locker room. And then it went viral, and then a whole bunch of people are saying, oh, Steph Curry is wrong for not acknowledging the fan, this, that, and the third. What I noticed is that when it comes to the black players and most of the NBA is black. They expect them to jump through hurdles and through hoops and acknowledge every single person that calls onto their name or tries to grab their attention. And if they don't, then they will somehow be scrutinized throughout the media. Now, we all know that Steph Curry is an excellent and outstanding basketball player. He has more than proved himself as to why he is a champion. And they will do any and everything to ruin his image because Steph Curry has a pretty clean-cut image. He really hasn't been in any trouble and anything like that. And because he's a black player, they will do anything and pull up anything to try and destroy his name. And, it, and it usually when it comes to the black players or athletes, it doesn't take much. But Aisha Curry has come out and pretty much defended her husband by saying he had tunnel vision, he just had a one-track mind, and that was to get into the locker room and get off the floor. And that's common with all players, no matter what game they're playing, whether it's football, basketball, whatever, especially when you're in the zone and you have a one-track mind and that's just to get off the court. Usually, fans approach the players before the games, during or should I say after warm-ups, when they're not really so much in the zone and they're just warming up. Now, what I really like about Aisha Curry is that she will come out and defend her husband at all costs, no matter what. Even if she knows, and she knows, that she will get scrutinized herself. There has been plenty of instances where Aisha has been victim of the media's attacks, viciously, vicious attacks, um, because of her defending her husband. She's just doing what a wife should be doing. I remember when she, I think it was last year, when she said how she is as a wife and how, uh, basically, how a good wife should be and how, she should, how a wife or a spouse should present herself to her husband. And I remember the media attacked her for saying that because they, deep down, want Aisha Curry to be one of those ratchet, ghetto, basketball-wise types. And speaking of basketball-wise, I think she was approached to actually be on the show and I'm so glad that she turned it down because Aisha Curry represents class. And that show represents trash. I remember, I think it was recently, Gabby Douglas has said something along the same lines that Aisha Curry did. And she got her name dragged through the media as well of how a woman should present herself, you know, and, you know, uh, just how a woman should present herself. It's like, damn, it's like, if you can't get the, uh, the knowledge from a woman, who are you supposed to get it from? Because if a man says how a woman should present herself, then they'll say that he's sexist and misogynistic. But if a woman says how she's supposed to present herself, and this is a woman saying that, then somehow she's wrong too. It's the fact that this is a good black woman being faithful and loyal to her husband, who is also black. They love to see drama when it comes to successful black families. And the best thing about Aisha, she's not a gold digger or any type of, like I said, ratchet to get a woman. This woman has her own money. She's done some acting. She has her own cooking show. She does everything for this man, and she's a damn good mother. So they have two kids. I'm not sure what the son's name is, but of course y'all are all familiar with Riley Curry, their daughter, because she made some attention, some media attention as well, and they trashed her too in, some, in like their own little way, always saying, why is she always there? They always have something to say about the black athlete's children. Why are they always there? Because they can be there, and they're pretty damn cute. That's why they're there. Why are you there? It's funny they ask why are they there, but they don't. Uh, they think about that check when they want to get that interview or that picture of that family that they so-called despise so much. But kudos to Aisha Curry.
she's definitely an example of a good of a solid good wife despite what other people say about her and I'm sure she brushes it off and she's always going to defend her husband and that's what a wife should do just as a husband should always defend his wife when she comes under fire for certain you know various things that's how this works Aisha is being on code and that's what they hate that's the that's the black ass bottom line she's being on code and they hate it Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Be sure to check out the links down in the description. Have your notifications turned on.